Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I am here with Mr. Media Girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> with my husband. Anyways, Hi. so he had this psychotic idea of taking all these bamboo skewers and putting them through. This is a paper towel roll that I cut down. Um, and we're going to fill it with paint and then we're going to somehow, ideally, carefully pull out the skewers and let the paint all drip down the sides through the holes. That is the concept anyways. We're going to try it and see how this goes. So while I'm filling this up, I'm going to do the top view and then I think I'm going to bring you down for a side view for when we actually pull these out. So I'm trying to think of what's the best side view. I think that's good. And he picked the colors as well. So they're wild and crazy. <laughs> if you have any suggestion of order. Um, well, he, white's usually a good first color, correct? Yeah. yeah. So probably start there. So just pro tip, open all your bottles before doing a pour like this because you have to hold this. You can't let it go. Oh, yeah. So if you have to open a bottle, you're kind of screwed. That's all right. Okay. What's next? Uh, purple. Okay. Purple is his favorite color. And we made this purple from two different artist loft colors. It was actually violet and magenta, I think. Yeah, black. Black, okay. Oh, it's already seeping out the bottom a little. Bottom a little. Oh, Lord. Okay. Orange? It's probably too much black. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, Turk Aquamarine. I'm going to put a little more white in here. Okay. Okay, yeah. So we have a aqua color we made. Okay. Uh, more purple. And more orange. Okay. How are you doing on height here? Um, it's like pretty full. Oh, and there. it's already seeping out in the holes. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to bring you down for a side view. See, I'm going to do the side view camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's already seeping out of the holes even without pulling the sticks out. So, um, here, you want to come around this side and help me pull it out so you're not in the camera yes. there too much? Right, yep. So we didn't holding... exactly think of all these things, you know, beforehand. So we're just gonna do our best. Oh, careful. Yeah. Ooh, we're getting oozy here. Mm-hmm. I like the oozy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean it. The paint. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that's, that's oozy. so well, cool. That's oh, that is way better than I thought it was gonna work. Me too. Okay, so we're gonna leave this here for a minute. And let this seep out as much as it's going to. Yeah, it's going. It's going, oh. going. I'm excited. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let this go. I think it's going to float up a bit, but it looks like it's enough empty that it can, whoops, <laughs> stand on its own. So that's good. I'm just trying to get all this stuff out of the way before I lift it up and have to tilt because knowing me, I'm really good at knocking things over. I have tried to learn from my mistakes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. Oh, it definitely still had paint in there. We didn't get holes like all the way to the bottom bottom. So it's not surprising that there would still be some paint in there. Ooh, that bubble did something cool. <laughs> it's like an eyeball. Right? All right, we're going to go back to the top view here. Cool. Good I like all these. Combo too. Yeah, I know, right? It was kind of a bold and daring color combo, but that's cool. I'm that guy. Yeah, he is that guy. We got some really cool cells popping up through here. It's literally like an eyeball. <laughs> that's incredible. All right. And we definitely had enough paint. So the part of the worry was I wasn't sure how much paint I was really putting in there. But it was definitely plenty. And in the future, I may have to actually measure how much paint will fit in one of those things <laughs> beforehand. Wow. I really like these blue sills over here. So I'm digging the eyeball in the middle. Don't want to run them off. Wow. I'm going to take know it back makes... this way a little bit. Oh, my goodness. There we go. What do you think? Oh, no. I was saying, it reminds me a little bit of, you know those, like, electronic ball things they have in science labs and you touch oh, them and yeah, the beam yeah, goes yeah. Out, to your, out to your fingers? Reminds me of that. Yeah. 
So the couple that paints together stays together. <laughs> All right, let's let it go ahead and sit here for a little while, and then we'll bring it in for the close-up. I'm really digging these turquoise. It is turquoise at this point. Teal. Yeah. Teal cells that are popping up. I like the orange highlights, too. The orange yeah. is really, like, highlighting. It was a good nice. orange. We yeah. use a vermilion mixed with some other orange. But anyways, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. This is super fun and wild and crazy. Definitely that turquoise is wanting to just push right through. It's popping up everywhere. Let's go ahead and do our close-up. Lower right hand corner here. Love the turquoise with the purple in there and the, even the orange popping through. Over here to the upper right hand corner. Definitely do not use orange enough. Agreed. <laughs> upper left hand corner, which is like the most subtle of the painting. The crazy middle. The oh. It's like looking down a vortex into space from from whence you came. Oh yes. Like you're That's such tumbling a fancy down a black hole backward. From whence you came. Yeah. And then the lower left hand corner. So I definitely love this just this whole section in here. I'm not sure how I feel about this one, but that's okay. <laughs> it fits. It this, fits with the rest. This painting has a little something for everybody. Yeah. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm always trying to come up with some out-of-the-box ideas, and my husband's definitely very helpful with, helpful with that. He goes and buys me random stuff from, like, the dollar store, true, true. you know, to do fun projects with. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this painting, and definitely if you plan to try it. I'm sure we will try this at least one more time. Um, I want to try doing the holes maybe a little bit differently, and definitely want to put a couple more near the bottom. But I think for our first try for this, it was definitely a success. I think so, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.